here on the SU Athletics Update. We're talking to Delaware Resource Group Superstar Athlete of the Week, Bailey Whitmore, junior softball player from Oklahoma City who currently leads the Stars in RBIs. And Bailey, nine RBIs through the first four games. How have you prepared for this season? Um, well, I fixed my swing a little bit, just like tweaking it up. So that's helped me a lot with Bobby Bridges, our hitting coach. She's been helping me to get my stance a little better and just different little things to help do better things whenever I'm batting. So I had a kind of rough year last year, so this has been helping me a lot. You've been a part of the last two national championship runs. What, have that, what has that been like for you? It's been awesome. I, like the feeling of winning a national championship is probably the best feeling I've ever had in my life. Like it's awesome and it's awesome to do it with the people you love and people you see every day and it's a really good outcome for any season. And it's something that everyone on any team strives for. Your coach, Phil McSpadden, is the winningest collegiate softball coach ever. What's it like playing for him? It's awesome. He is one of the, obviously he's smart and knows softball really good, but he's also the kind of person that he'll take up for you no matter what. Even if you're in the wrong, it seems like he'll help you out and do anything that he can to help you be the best you can be. And then any problem you're having, he's there for us. And that's probably one of the best things about him, I would say. You came to OCU as a catcher. What position are you going to play for the Stars this year? I don't know, really, because we've only had four games. But our team last year versus in the past two years versus this year, it's we basically the first two years had the same team. Everyone was almost playing the same positions. But this year we have so many new people, and all the old people are playing new positions. So we're just trying to figure out what fits best for us right now. So I played first, and I hit, just hit the past weekend, but I don't know where I'll end up. We'll find out. I'm sure there's been several of them, but what would you say is your most memorable moment at OCU? Honestly, I think winning the national championship, those are both, both of them actually were the best times ever that I've ever had playing softball. So those are two things I'll never, ever forget. And what brought you here to OCU? Um, well, I've always wanted to stay kind of close to my parents, close to my family. We all have a we have a close family. We all live within a couple miles of each other. So that's what one of the big reasons. And then I loved Coach McSpadden. I loved Copace. I knew him, Coach Copace, in high school. So that was one of the big reasons. I love the coaches. I'm close to home. And everything just seemed like it fit right for me. What's your major? Um, right now it's criminal justice. What kind of career plans do you have when softball's over? I haven't really decided necessarily, but I I think I might want to do something with like social working. I haven't necessarily decided, but criminal justice is just really interesting to me. So I figured I'd just kind of go with the flow and see where I end up. All right, talking to Delaware Resource Group Super Strathlete of the Week, Bailey Whitmore. You can follow the stars on OCUsports.com. At Oklahoma City University, it's on all of us to put an end to sexual violence in our campus community. Title IX is a federal law that addresses our students' right to education free from sex discrimination. OCU Athletics is committed to fostering a culture of respect for all members of our community. We aim to embody respect and sportsmanship in all aspects of life. And it's our job as athletes to intervene when something isn't right. It's our responsibility as athletes role models, and members of the community to look out for one another. OCU athletes are not just champions on the field. We also strive to be champions of character. Consent is explicit, not implied. Sexual contact without consent is sexual assault. It's on us. It's on us. To intervene when something doesn't seem right. To recognize that alcohol is never an excuse. It's on us. It's on all of us. To make it known we will not tolerate this from peers, teammates, friends, anyone. To create an environment that respects everyone's rights and boundaries. To do the right thing. It doesn't just happen to women. It's on us as teammates to lead by example. To make it known that jokes about sexual assault are unacceptable. To step up and say something. To step up and say something. To step up and say something. 
To never blame the victim. To support survivors. To be more than a bystander. It's on us. It's on us. It's on us. Every day we all choose the type of person that we want to be and the type of athlete that we want to be. And for me, the important lesson there is you got to wake up every day willing to earn it and make the most of it. It's on us. It's on us. It's on us. It's, it's on, on all of us, us OCU. OCU. Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to men's golf coach Kyle Blazer. The Stars played for the first time this spring in the Arizona-Ottawa Invitational. But, Coach, let's start with the fall season. Three first-place finishes in the fall for your team. What went into having such a strong start for you guys? You know, I think the guys realized after our national tournament, uh, I wouldn't say embarrassment, but we were, we were definitely uh, – not happy with the way we finished our national championship, to put, say at the least. Uh, they, they had a good summer. They, they put a lot of work in it, uh, you know, and, and we've got a bitter taste in our mouth. And I think we started off the, uh, the fall season pretty hot from, from, from where we left off last spring. Uh, we played really good, uh, you know, at our first term with UC Ferguson. Uh, we went to Innisbrook, which uh, Innisbrook typically hosts some of the best schools in the country and you know we ended up beating Dalton State who's another great school and, and Johnson and Wells was there There's some several of the top 10 schools in the country were there and we ended up winning that tournament so that was a that was a huge win for us uh, we also won at Sand Creek which is an event we host and it had some good competition as well so uh, you know we, we we had some positives but we uh, we ended the semester with the loss so uh, that's something that we're gonna try to address and you know you know, that was one tournament, but we're, it's motivating us to uh, work harder and get better. As far as the spring goes, the Ottawa, Arizona Spring Invitational, second place finish by one stroke. What positives do you take away from that tournament and what is there still to be improved upon? Well, there's, uh, there's a lot of positives I take from it. Uh, you know, David Myers and uh, Rupert Kaminsky, they got to go back to uh, South Africa where it was 100 degrees and practice over Christmas break, which they came back and they, you know, they put in the effort. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you, we... We did something I haven't done. We stayed in a VRBO, and I thought that'd be great for team bonding. And, you know, the f little flu bug, 24-hour flu bug went around. And at one point, Monday night, I had one in the backyard having problems and two lined up in the bathroom. So, you know, I, I wasn't sure on Tuesday morning if the guys were going to be able to play because they hadn't eaten. They're all sick. They're throwing up. And, you know, uh, pardon the pun, but they uh, – they gutted it out, and I was proud of the way they they performed. I mean, yeah, we we got beat by one shot, but you know they they showed a lot of character, and you know David and Rupert, those guys are. It's exciting to watch them because they're they're at a very high level, and they they they're great buddies from back home, and they push themselves every day, and it's fun to watch. And I, you know, I think the sky's the limit for this crew. What makes those two so successful? Just competition. Uh, you know, they started playing golf at a young age. Uh, they were both some of the top amateurs in South Africa. Uh, they've come over here and they've really adapted well uh, with the team, uh, with our culture, our, our university, and you know, it's fun. Every day they push each other, you know, and, and they've started pushing each other in different ways. They're pushing each other in the classroom, they're pushing each other in the workouts. They're, it's a very competitive group and I'm, I'm happy to be a part of, uh, you know, leading this, this crew of guys. So who are some of the other players that you expect to maybe take a step forward this semester? Well, I tell you, Garrison Mendoza really made a huge step uh, this fall. It's one of his lowest scoring averages. Um, he's got a class schedule. It's still kind of uh, messed up, but he's able to uh, see us most days of the week. Uh, and Garrison, you know, he's, he grinds it. And I look for Garrison to have a great, uh, great semester, great finish to his career. Uh, you know, then we've got Gaston Romero. He's a freshman. Uh, I don't think he had, and he'll probably agree with me, I don't think he had the type of first semester that we'd hoped for. But, you know, Gaston's a very, very talented uh, player. I think he'll win a lot of tournaments uh, in his career here. I look for Gaston to really step up. And then, you know, we got Carson Seals and Paradon Castile. Uh, Carson did not play first semester, but he is uh, competing this semester. And, you know, Paradon's got more talent than, than anybody I've seen. and, and, and We've got competition. We've got six guys that can really play. Uh, Nico uh, has really stepped his game up. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to Nico. And, you know, we've got Chris Winkle. And it's fun to have eight guys that can really play. And, and you know, this is.
probably been one of the more enjoyable groups I've been around. We all get along. Friday nights, they go to movies, you know, hey, coach, you want to join us? And they really, it's, it's such a great group of guys. It's been a very, very much a joy to be with and coach them. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm excited to what's at the end of the tunnel for us. You guys are going to tee it up next at the end of the month in the San Antonio shootout at TPC San Antonio. What are your expectations for that tournament? Well, when you play for me and with our tradition, our, 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 our expectations are to win. Uh, it's going to be a great competition. Uh, we'll, we'll play 36 holes on the Canyons course, which they host a professional event. And then uh, we'll play 18 the final day on the Oaks course, which hosts the Valero Open. So, you know, it's always a great privilege for these guys to get out and play golf courses of this caliber. Uh, and then you throw in the likes of the Texas Wesleyan and Johnson and Wells and some of the competition that's going to be there. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a very competitive event. And you know, we're, we're not going to come home happy unless we're on top. Sooner Athletic Conference championships are here in the city this year. Gallardia, how special is it for that venue to host the championships? You know, Gallardia has opened their arms to us. Uh, they, they've been very uh, outstanding the way they treat us out there, and, and they want to be a part of our success and our tradition. So, you know, for the kids to get to go on a golf course like that and have their conference championship, it's, it's a special special occasion. Uh, we did have conference there last year, and I, I got compliment after compliment of how a, the golf course is unbelievable, and then you're in awe looking at all the houses, and, and you know, it's, it's just a special place. Every time we get together, we've got to talk about Tyron Van Oswegen, and he was uh, inducted into the OCU Hall of Fame recently, last December. How special was that? Uh, Well-deserved. Uh, Tyron was a, uh, a four-time All-American, uh, won an individual championship, won four national championships as a team, so that well-deserved. Uh, I, I think there's several kids that, you know, Tyron – said there's several other guys on this group that were with me that uh, deserve to be here, and that's just the way he is. I mean, he is uh, OCU through and through. Uh, he called me this week. He was playing with another alum and Hall of Famer, Kevin Baldwin, in, in the Pebble Beach Pro-Am, and, you know, he really, uh, he's one of the kind. I wish uh, all student athletes and all alums were uh, as loyal and, you know, loving as what he is. All right, talking to men's golf coach Kyle Blazer. You can follow the stars on OCUsports.com.